Mm, <laughs> Still hearing it? Da, 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 Beethoven's second. Oh, God, we've been at this for hours. How have we still not found anything? Careful. It's starting to sound like an impatient 20-year-old instead of an imperturbable woman of 21. Just tell me you didn't hire a clown. Saved by the ping. A uh, piano teacher gave it as a gift to young Ludwig, a clock of most exquisite decor. Oh, wait, uh, hey. our clock doesn't have a bust. See? Uh -huh. yeah. I'll ask you one more time. Where is Barton? Oh, you planned the escape. You're an accessory. Now, if you start talking, maybe we can keep you from being an accessory to Rick Davis's murder. I loved Rick. Barton killed him. He tried to kill me. He attacked Rick for no reason at all. You're lying. Barton used that money to piggyback on your escape plan. Rick is dead because of you. Do you understand? <laughs> Anna, look, we know you've been through a lot, okay? But the guy who did this is still out there, so help us find him. Rick got the money, and he was gonna kill Barton. Lion armored car. And it's a pickup schedule. We can double back and go around. Oh, hold on. We know where he's going. We have to pick up into a mall parking garage about five miles from here in 30 minutes. Give it up, chum. It's over. Okay. Okay. Uh, sorry. I just. Come on. I thought maybe this thing could pay for the, the surgery my aunt needs. She's got a bad heart. And, uh, and she's really old. Yeah, no mercy. Ah. Oh, honey, you should go talk to him. What am I supposed to say? Before this, you just some guy in jail. He's your dad. He loves you. He barely even knows me. He knows you. He wants your life to be better than his was. Look, I, I don't know, Kyle, but he, he did he did take a bullet for you, right? I mean, I, I think that rates a goodbye. Don't you? Risking everything to put you on the right path. I think it's worth getting to know him. I mean, e even if it's just on visiting days. Trust me, kid. I know about these things. Grab the chance while you still got him. How'd you know I was joining up? I heard some talk in the yard. Just because I'm on the inside doesn't mean that I don't keep tabs on you. Not exactly a Hallmark card, but thanks. <laughs> so, um, I, I was thinking maybe I could, uh, you know. Yeah. Weekends and school holidays? Yeah, yeah. That might work. Deal. Local PD is rounding up the Turks. 
Marshall got his man, we got our thingy. I'd say all in all, it's a pretty good day. It took you so long. Oh, Pete was regaling us with stories of his high school wrestling achievements. Which was riveting. Was everything all right? Well, I'm in, aren't I? So the next time you throw yourself in front of the firing squad, I've still got the shakes from those stupid goals. I need a drink. I thought you might. I'll text you when we're a go. And don't forget the floss, dear. Yes, Mother. Hey, Nick. So, listen, I, uh, I just wanted to tell you, I, I, I know what you're going through. When I was a kid, I lost my dad and... Really? Did he die leaping in front of a bullet meant for you? No, no, he, he didn't, but, you know, it was still my dad and I... So you really don't know, do you? Nick! No, 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 hey, man, don't, don't sweat. Hey, Sutton, did you know that Paracelsus was the caretaker of Warehouse 9? First I ever even heard of the warehouses when they came to collect him. All I knew of my brother's work was that, like most great scientists, it consumed him. To the point where the warehouse considered him a, a pretty big threat. There were two notions explored by all alchemists of the day. What could convert base metals into gold and silver, and what chemical or mineral could prolong life. The found of you. Or immortality, yes. And when Paracelsus found it, well, he obviously had plans, but he never confided them in me. So it's a pretty safe bet that he's going to turn himself immortal, right? I mean, now that he's got the stone? He needs more than the stones. I know that. Well, what that is, I couldn't tell you. We do know that over 600 people died when he made you three immortal. What? We caused 600... Nick, I didn't tell you because I never wanted you to live with... with the burden. Sutton, I'm sorry. I, I think he just needs to work through his grief. Grief? The only people I ever cared about couldn't die. Till now. Yeah, well, grief really sucks. Sometimes I think it's better to be the one to go than the one to stay. I want to get this guy, Claude. You know, first he bronzes you, now Mrs. F is losing her entire... I want to get this guy. Look at you being all hateful and vindictive. I love it when you borrow my clothes. Good. Claude? Artie? Hmm. Okay. It's not funny who's here. said that he, he saw you, but... No. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay, yes, you're here. You're... You're here to help Mrs. Frederick? What? That... that... That's what Artie used to save Claudia. He was lying about something. I thought Akoka she was fine, but he's hiding something. Is Claudia still in danger?
already saved Claudio. Why would Lena... <laughs> this is nuts. Okay, okay, okay. So it has something to do with the DNA that I already got from Joshua, right? I will find out, I promise. He wasn't Artie. You know, he wasn't himself. Maybe one day you might visit him, too. Yeah.